What is this Toyota? What? Man, this looks so flimsy. Somebody could step on this thing. This is 2021 Toyota Sienna LE Hybrid. Four cylinder, 2.5. In this video, I wanna show you um, something that you need to know before you buy it. All right, so today we're gonna to look at some things that I believe Toyota could have done better. It's a good car, but some fit and finishes, they could have done better. One thing that I have to say, this car has a lot of plastic. It is true that I have the lowest trim, LE. I didn't want to spend money on something that I don't consider uh, necessary. Uh, I wanted the cloth seats because you don't get ventilated seats up until the last trim, the highest trim. So let me show you what's going on with this car. I like it so far but um, I think they could have done better. Okay, just a little bit about the engine. It's a four cylinder, like I said, it's a 2.5 liter engine that produces 245 horsepower coupled with the uh, hybrid. You don't have the V6 anymore. Uh, gone is the V6. Uh, we're going into the hybrid and probably possibly in the future, full electric. But right now we have the hybrid 2.5, 245 horsepower. It's going. You can hear the engine screaming in there. It's not that smooth V6 that you had before, but it's good. Running without a problem. All right, now let's get into the fit and finishes that I believe Toyota could have done better. I'm going to start with this side on the door. I'm going to continue on the passenger side. I'm going to show in the back. I'm going to show you one issue that I believe um, I think it's a big issue, a big safety issue. I might be wrong, I'll show you what I mean. All right, so like I said, we have a lot of plastics, even on the door, on the dashboard. Again, this is the alley model. We don't have too much chrome in here. But anyway, let me show you on the door here. You see this panel right here? Very flimsy, moves, right? It, it moves. And then if you do this, look. What is this Toyota? What? You call this quality anyway so that comes out plastic in here that's all right this car is not a show car so we're using this car so it's not perfect it's not clean one thing that i want to show you here in the front and on the other side on the passenger side is the way this carpet is done it feels so flimsy and it's just in my opinion just terrible this whole thing moves. Um, right here. It almost comes out. Look. You press a little bit on it, you can see the edge. We have some kind of vent in here. I believe there's a filter in that you need to change once in a while. Anyway, this carpet feels really, really flimsy. All right, we're on the passenger side. Take this out. Let me show you here. Do you see that? Very flimsy carpet. And this thing comes out. Look, look. I almost feel like I can pull this thing out completely. What's gonna happen if I pull on this? I don't know. I don't wanna find out. Do you see that? All right, let's leave it alone. Okay, we're on the passenger side. I feel like I can keep pull this up, but this one it's a little bit more uh, sturdier than the other one. It's pretty solid in here, no problem. We're moving in the back here. The carpet again, very flimsy. The way it's done. Uh, we have this. What? What kind of quality is this? The carpet actually comes out. Look. I mean, you can see two carpets on top of each other. I've never seen that before. 
the car came with the floor mats because they have this rail system you can't have a full floor mat in here i think they could have done something better but the fact that you can slide the chairs back and forth along for a long distance it's much better than honda but at the same time you, you can put a full floor mat in here that's all right another thing that i want to show you and it's very weird all right this right here this tube right here, this plastic tube, this is protecting some kind of cables. If a kid comes in here and it steps on this, what is that gonna do? Are we gonna break the cables? Man, this looks so flimsy. Somebody could step on this thing. Uh, I'll show you the Honda. Honda doesn't have this. Honda has its cable and again, I have a 2008 Honda Odyssey. The cable comes right behind this metal piece in here. Totally different. You will see the difference. I think Honda does a much better job on protecting that cable. This is very flimsy. I'm not sure exactly. Yes, it's got to be flexible to be able to move with the door. But it could be done in a different way. And I believe this is just for the window switches and all that. It's possible that we need it, but it could be done a different way. All right, so I have this 2008 Honda Odyssey. Let me open the door here. We do have the same style of cable, but this right here, and remember this is 2008, this is 13 years old. We do have this cable, but it's tucked in back there and if you step on this you're not going to damage the cable totally different system what i want to show you in the back here for some reason toyota went away from their perfect back window wiper previous model they had it here i believe all the lexus they have the the window uh, wiper up there and the thing comes down like this now they moved it down I don't like this. I, I mean, I think they went back in design for some reason. This is plastic right here. You can tell how this bends. You can hear the difference. This whole door, the back hatchback door is done out of plastic. Another problem, not a problem, but fit and finish is this fin right here I think that's gonna come off eventually design it's interesting but at the same time yeah this whole thing is moving the lights are not moving again this corner you can push it by hand let me show you one more thing that um, Toyota, I, I believe they can do a better job. And this is the mounting system for these seats right here. This whole system is actually right here in the trunk and it takes space. Basically right here is the mounting system of the seats and then the uh, reclining system for the seats uh, they work fine no problem but the way they are done they take space from this trunk I'll show you the difference between this and Honda 2008 Honda is much cleaner all right with this level I want to show you what's wrong with the mounting system that they have to recline the seat inside because the way the seats fold down is totally different than Honda and then I think there's a problem with this. Let me show what I mean by that. Sits go in pretty easy, no problem. So number one I'll show you how this by no by no means this is not a flat surface you cannot consider this a flat surface look at this 
there's no way this is a flat surface. There's a big hump here with the seats. They do not go any lower. There's a big hump there. You cannot remove the seats from this. So you're going to have to push them all the way forward. That's it. You cannot put an eight by four sheet of plywood in here when with the Honda and previous model, you were able to. Removing seats, that's not a problem. They stay in there all the time. This, what is this? This is actually, in my opinion, really terrible, terrible, terrible. But anyway, what I want to show you is because the seats are mounted this way, Honda is mounted right here and the seats fold down this way. Toyota, they go like this, right? This system, what happens is they do not lock in place. There's no locking mechanism for the seats and they move like this all the time. I had this seat down like this and this is what happened when, because this thing, it moves up and down when the car runs or goes on the street. This thing goes, stays like this. What happens is when I put my foot on the brake, the seat goes like that. It does not stay in here. Uh, it's got some springs, I understand that, to make it easier to operate up and down. But uh, you cannot keep them down if you don't put anything on them. Now they're made to stay down when you put stuff on it. But yeah, they don't stay there. Let me show you the Honda. All right, so we have the Honda system, right? You don't see anything down here. We don't take anything from the trunk space. Everything is up here. One, two, three, four connections and the seat folds down in here. We still have the two point attachment. I'm sorry, the two point latch and unlatch. And let me show you how this goes. Do this and this and the seat goes down like this. Let me get my level here. We have a flat surface here. There's no hump in there. Look at that, flat surface. And the seat is not gonna come out when you put a brake. Much better system. I like this, and this is a 2008 Honda Odyssey. Much better. All right, back in the Toyota carpet here. Very flimsy again. Everything is moving. It's all right, it's gonna stay there. I'm just wondering 13 years from now on, how's that gonna look like? Not a flat surface. I'm not impressed whatsoever. All right, so I was saying that there is, I believe, a safety issue in a sense that you cannot get out of this back seat very easy. If you have all three seats in the middle, you actually have to drop this down. There is no other way to exit. And this is what I mean. You don't have control on the seat here or here to be able to push it. For me to get out, there's two ways if nobody's in the front there, which it doesn't make sense, somebody is in the front, but you have to pull this and drop the seat down and exit. You don't really do that. You don't want to step on a seat. So let's say that you want to exit just like any other car uh, where you just push the seat front in, in the front. Well, you don't have, you don't have a control you're trapped in here, basically. There's one way, if you can reach all the way right there. If you don't have a long arm, you can't reach there. Let me show you here. Or here, for example, right? This is the seat they have. This is the seat control they have right here, and that's it. So you're in the back here. You don't have any way to get out unless you drop this down or reach all the way there, which uh, many kids uh, can't reach all the way there. 
or you could reach to the side here. Not sure how. Yeah, terrible design. Every car. Let me show you Honda actually. Let me take you to my Honda. All right, I'm in the Honda and I want to get out. Let's say I have the center seat here, which I do in the house, but I'm not going to put it in here. You see that? And the seat just folds out. Very easy, very convenient. I don't have to reach all the way down there. As a matter of fact, there is no control seat on, on the bottom there. Very easy. And if I want to push this back, lift this up, push it back. One seat control for everything. Sienna, you need to do better on that. Okay guys, so this is 2021 Honda Odyssey. I showed you some stuff. I had this car for about seven months now. I have 3,341 miles on it. It's working just fine. No problem on the engine, no problem on the drivetrain. It's a four-wheel drive. I chose that because sometimes we go to the snow. But I believe Toyota could have done better. I'm not sure how they decided to um, go cheap on this stuff. I'm not sure what's the mindset with the seats probably because it's a full wheel drive that's why i have that hump in there but the way the seats fold down this thing at the door the trim comes off there's so many things that um, i could have probably made a different decision if i knew about this stuff but because i see them i want to show you what's going on if you uh, don't care and because of that you can still buy one that's totally fine but um I just want to show you what's going on. Other than that, it's a good car. Uh, would I would I uh, buy it again? Give me about three four months, and I'll probably make a decision. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.